Hey, thanks for tuning in. This video is an update about a test we made last year where we uploaded the whole demo content of Unreal Engine 5, the content of Valley of the Ancient, to a single Git repository. This is a commit which contains 75 gigabytes. We're doing the same again here and we're using the new version of Anchor Point. So let's get started. For file hosting, we will use Azure DevOps. It has a very friendly pricing structure when it comes to Unreal Engine products. So you can have five users for free, plus everything above that comes at a very reasonable price, and it does not charge for LFS storage. So you can have hundreds of gigabytes in your repository without being charged for that. So once we are in a dashboard, we need to create a new project. So the name will be Unreal Engine 5 Valley of the Ancient. We keep it private, we create it, and the first thing is adding members. The next step, I need to go to the repository, I click on files. And the only thing I need to copy to clipboard is the repository URL. That's all I need to do in DevOps. Unreal Engine has an integrated Git plugin, which you can access here under source control. So when you open that and you say connect to source control, you can choose the provider, which is either Perforce Plastic or Git in this case. And then you have to enter the Git path. And this is a path to a Git executable, which is doing the operations. However, usually I don't recommend using this process because the whole check-in and check-out process using Unreal Engine is a bit slower experience. So I found it out it's better to use an external Git client and it can be GitHub Desktop, it can be Source Tree, or in this case, it will be Anchor Point. So let's do that in this case. Let me close that and let's open up Anchor Point. So Anchor Point is basically an asset manager which has an inbuilt Git integration. Here I am in the folder of the Unreal Engine project and I just need to go one step up and do a right click on the folder and say create git repository. I'm using everything as it is. I want to provide a gitignore config, which basically is the preset for Unreal Engine. And the gitignore config will exclude certain folders like derived data cache, things which are generated locally from being versioned, because I don't want to push these things to the remote location. And for the repository URL, I'm pasting the link from Azure DevOps. And then I can click create. So it created a repository, and now I would like to go to the timeline to see the list of all the changes. So here it basically tracks all the files which are new. What you usually do is adding an initial commit and naming this edit initial assets. Then we do the commit and during the commit, it's copying and pasting all these files into a cache location. Basically a commit is like a version. You could create multiple versions of your projects which are basically commits locally and at the end of the day, you can upload everything to the central remote repository. But I recommend a workflow that you often commit and push regularly. With that in mind, you can avoid conflicts with your teammates. All right, now once the files are committed, we simply can push them to the remote repository. And again, because this is a big project, this will take a pretty long while. So once the push is ready, we can take a look at the remote repository at DevOps to see if all the files are there. And here I can see that all the files have been pushed except of files like derived data cache and intermediate because these two folders, for example, have been excluded by the gitignore file. So in the next step, my remote collaborator could use the clone function simply clicking on clone and then he gets the link which he can copy to another git client or to anchor point and then you can start collaborating together. All of these other changes, what I do with Unreal Engine now, are way, way easier than the first commit because the first commit had to push all the binary data, all the heavy assets. The great thing about Unreal Engine 5, it comes with the one file per actor change. So if I, for example, move these rocks here, let's say I do this one and I move this one around and I do at the end a save all, then simply anchor point will detect that change in the uncommitted changes. And here I have these two U asset files, so I can simply add a commit message, move rocks, commit that, and the commit will be very fast. And so will be the push. That's because Unreal Engine is saving the changes not inside the map, but in little, small actor files, which are very easy to push and pull. So the whole collaboration process is pretty light with at the end. So that was all about Git with Unreal Engine 5 in a nutshell. I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.